Small talk, there are people who can do it almost perfectly and others have a hard time with it. Small talk is especially important in professional life and also offers the best opportunity to meet new people. If you master small talk correctly, you can directly leave a positive impression on your counterpart. And so that you too can become a true small talk king, we show you in this video 10 tips on how you can properly conduct small talk and also give you a few topics of conversation directly on the way. But why small talk at all? Small talk is a great way to break the ice with new people. It's perfect for making new contacts, finding common ground, and building a foundation for a business relationship or friendship. A first meeting always consists of small talk, because you don't know anything about the other person yet. And that's exactly why it's important to get to grips with this topic. If you don't know how to make small talk, you won't make a good first impression and will have a much harder time in life. Therefore, we come directly to the 10 tips so that you can also master small talk in the future. Number 1. Dare to take the first step. There is hardly anything worse than an awkward silence. If your counterpart does not start to talk, you just start the conversation. Even if it costs a little overcoming. Number 2. Do not expect too much. Small talk is not about deep conversations or discussions. It's about light conversation. Therefore, do not expect to learn everything about your counterpart directly. Number 3. The pleasant atmosphere. Be friendly to your counterpart. A smile can work wonders here. When greeting, it should be a firm handshake and if you look your counterpart more often in the eyes, this also has a positive effect. This gives you an open body language and makes you look more likable. Just don't overdo it and get too close to your counterpart. Number 4. The right topic. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. The small talk topics. Somehow you have to find an introduction. If you see your counterpart for the first time, greet him friendly and introduce yourself. To get started, you can talk about a possible common occasion. Are you at a conference, a party or a meeting? You could start there. You can also talk about rather boring topics such as the weather. You could also talk about the place where you are, a city, your profession or education. But also topics like movies, music or literature come into question here. It is important that you only talk about positive things. Don't mention how stupid you think artist Sai is, that always comes across negatively. Also, you should only talk about things that you know about. Number 5. Taboo Topics In addition to topics that lend themselves to small talk, there are also those that tend to come across negatively. These include, religion, politics, rumors, blasphemies or diseases. It is also better to avoid controversial topics that are currently in the media. Number 6. Respond to the person you are talking to Find the right balance between talking and listening. Ask your counterpart a question if something is unclear. In this way, you signal interest and show that you are listening. However, you should not conduct an interview, but also respond to the answers and tell them something about yourself. Number 7. Do not get too personal. You should never talk too much about your private life, as this can quickly come across as arrogant and you will not leave a good impression on your counterpart. It is also a no-go if you give out good advice, as this can come across as no at all and can even seem disrespectful. Number 8. Accept silence. Do not frantically try to maintain a conversation when there is a pause in the conversation. In the meantime, reflect briefly on what has been said so far and try to find a topic to pick up on. If you have the feeling that your counterpart does not want a conversation, do not force one on him. Number 9. Practice. Of course, small talk is not something you can just learn overnight and master right away. You need to practice again and again. When an opportunity presents itself, start a small talk. Whether it's at a party or other event, opportunities abound. You should take advantage of them to improve your small talk skills more and more. And number 10, the conclusion. It is important that you find a positive conclusion to the conversation. After all, you want to be remembered positively by your counterpart. Say something like it was nice to meet you. If you talked about something interesting, you can also ask if your counterpart can send you a mail or message with more information so that you can stay in touch. If you don't want any further contact, you can also just say that you have to go now because you have another appointment. Those were all 10 tips that you can use to become a real small talk master. Here in the video you will also find a video in which we show you 3 psycho tricks with which you can influence every person. Be sure to check it out as well. If you liked the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.